coming from a farm, the, the question of inheritance and who owns the land, uh, where the land came from, who owned it, who will own it in the future, that's always a very, it's an important question in every family, but it's also obviously a very pol important political question in uh, Irish history and ongoing in Irish life. Um, and uh, this is my take on the question, one take on that question. Who owns the field? Is it the one who is named in the deeds, whose hands never touched the clay? Or is it the one who gathers the sheaves, takes a side to the thistles, plants the beech, digs out the dockweed, lays the live hazel? Is it the one who is named in the deeds, or the one who pulls ragwort on his knees, lifts rocks into a cart, splits larch for stakes, the one who gathers the sheaves, slash hooks the briars, scatters the seed, cuts his hand on barbed wire, hangs the gate? Is it the one who is named in the deeds, or the one who could surely lead to where children made a hiding place in an old lime tree. He gathers the sheaves. Is it the one who tends cattle and sheep and can tell you how the field got its name? Is it the one who is named in the deeds or the one who gathers the sheaves? What I probably should have said about that poem is that it's in the form of a villanelle and that that traditionally was a working poem uh, for agricultural labourers. So uh, I think that was part of my influence in, in shaping the poem in that form. Um, and I do love the sound of that rhythm, repeating rhythm, and I can imagine how that helped people working uh, in the fields. But as this poem, in a way, is a, is a hymn to, to work, uh, I think it fits it. That form really fits it.